have to put up the mosquito hood. And we are back. Good morning. We're all packing up right now, getting ready to go to a different lake. This is the first time we've ventured out from Rainy since we've ever been here. We're going on a unique experience fishing for lake trout from shore. Here comes our boy right now, pulling in the driveway to take us out. This is old Bill. Bill has, uh, Bill's a fishing fool. He loves to fish for everything. And me and my dad have been out with him before smallmouth fishing out here, but we've never done anything like this. And he thought this would be something that no one had ever done. So we're gonna go try it. What do you say there, Bill? How are we doing this morning? Doing great, doing great. Looks like a beautiful day. Beautiful day to catch some Lakers. Yep. A little better than yesterday. It looked like it was pretty, pretty good to be pretty windy oh, out there. Oh, it was windy. Yesterday. It was windy today. We got <laughs> we got gorgeous weather. This Fishing Freaks is Lake of the Woods. I've never been to this lake and I've always heard about it. My buddy Trey's fished here in the past and it's a, it's a much bigger lake than what we're used to. We're gonna head out, go try to find a spot where we can catch some lake trout from shore. I quickly realized that Lake of the Woods was going to be one of the biggest and most diverse lakes I've ever been on. And the aquatic diversity here is just amazing from these shallow shorelines filled with grass and lily pads that have muskalong and pike and largemouth bass to the deep rocky points and shorelines that house walleye and smallmouth. And at its deepest point, Lake of the Woods sits at over 300 feet deep. So it makes it a great place for these lake trout that prefer deeper, cooler water most of the season. The biggest lake I've ever fished back home in Texas is around 180,000 acres. This one squashes it at over 900,000 acres. And with endless islands and uniform evergreen and rocky shoreline, I don't even know how you navigate this without a GPS. This is a rock, huh? This is home? This is it. LFD, you gonna make it? I got it. There, I'm good. You ever caught a lake trout? Do you know what one looks like? I uh, I think I know what they look like, but I've never caught one. So this is new for me. So we are out here on a rock island. And I'm assuming not very far out here. It's very, very deep. This water is very clear, much clearer than Rainy Lake. And now we are gonna see how Bill does this out here. This is kind of a unique deal. I, I saw some Cisco's for bait fish. Looks like, like we got some uh, big old ambassadors. Big old ambassador yeah. reels with the clickers on them. I don't think bro. Oh. oh man. The old tip buster. The old net, I see some slime on that net. All right, Bill, tell us a little bit about the rig and what to expect out here with these lake trout. We're currently parked on a rock, an island. So we're using 17 pound test. Mostly I use heavier line because there is good fish here, big fish and plus it's really rocky. So lighter line, you're gonna break your line and try to reel them in. 
So we're using Cisco's. Cisco's, which I've never even seen a Cisco. Show me one. Here's a Cisco, about a five or six inch bait. Okay, they got like a pointy nose. Looks real fatty. Yep. Greasy. Greasy. I'm gonna use this one because this one's got a little bit of air in it. Air? So it'll make them float, like okay. that one there. All right. Otherwise, I put uh, a little chunk of styrofoam in them. And we float them up two or three feet off bottom. Seems to work a little better. Okay. And I'm gonna and do. You're doing a special tie. I'm doing a little special knot here, so when the fish grabs it and pulls it off, it won't leave a knot in it. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna get a few rods ready here. And they float, like he said. So it's got a weight on there. This is essentially a glorified Carolina rig. And that is going to uh, weight and a split shot. Why the... So, so when the fish grabs it, it'll pull the bait out, uh -huh. but the weight will stay there. Oh, okay. So it's not pulling the whole weight of the, the, the weight of the sinker also. And how big do these lake trout get? The biggest I've seen off this rock was 35 pounds. 35 pounds. Yeah. Jeez. We get some nice ones here. Okay. So hopefully we'll we'll get a couple. Be cool to just catch a big gnarly lake trout from the shoreline. You know, not on a boat. I've caught one in a boat before. Big old offshore boat trolling. But this would be a, a heck of a fight. We're on an island, you know. Fight them, fight them around the clear water, bring them up to shore. Right. Somebody's gonna stand on shore and just hold the rod. Okay. And after I drop it, just, you know, you wanna try to stand the rod in a rock, but you wanna make sure the button is pushed on the reel. Okay. Because one might grab it right away and he'll pick the rod and everything gone. So, uh, it open with the clicker? Is yeah. it got a clicker on? Yeah. Okay. All right, that sounds good. So, so Bill is actually going to run the baits out with a boat. We're going to stay on shore. And he said, uh, be ready because fish could grab it right away. So we're just going to have the clickers on, ready to roll. So I'm going to get my, my chesty camera on. And we're going to do this, guys. I'm going to catch a big old nasty lake trout. Give him a sniff. <laughs> All right, Bill's got the line. We got our clicker on. Oh, that's a dandy there, eh? He's taking line. This water is really clear, and this sort of a shallow rock shelf, so he's trying to take it out to where it's more of a drop. Oh yeah, bud. I have never done anything like this in my life. This is crazy. Oh, yeah. oh, he's going way out there. <laughs> We're getting down to the end of the pool. This is going to be a far ass fight. One grabs it all the way out there. <laughs> oh, you got a tiny little. Yes. Come on. All right, line is going in. All right, we're just gonna trust. We're gonna trust that right there. Clicker on, ready to go. A little morning smallmouth on the island. Back to the deeps. What's the little styrofoam trick there? That's just so you can see it going out. Okay. See it moving. Know which one? Supposedly we uh. We might have a fish on right now. Put it again. Step it again. 
<laughs> get him. <laughs> Reel that slack in and get him. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jackson's got one on. Oh, he might have come off. No, he probably just went around or Yep, yep. <laughs> I said it hard. Oh, yeah, no, you had, there was so much tension on there. Maybe you just got around a rock. Oh, 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 oh. Set the hook on it. Be nimble, be nimble quick. Oh, no, he's still on. You still, oh, we're still double. Oh, look at that. Wait, is that a pike? It's a pike. It's a, it's a what? You got a northern on. <laughs> big old northern down there grabbed it. Look at this guy. Big slime. Oh no, did it come off? Nope, he's still on. Got one on, eh? Got one on. Oh man, this thing was out there a long ways. Laker lunch, come on baby. Oh, that one's going, that one's going. Set it hard. Oh, it's a Northy. No, it's a laker. It is a laker. It's a trout. There we go. Yeah. Laker on. Good job. Thank you. You better get you out of here before you go get the other one over there. He's on. LFD, hang on. I got to. All right, we got one in. LFD's hooked up, doubled up. Still pretty heavy. Yeah, he's way out there. Watch that stick. <laughs> the t Trey called it earlier. He said that stick's gonna be a problem out there. <sighs> That's a long ways to reel him in, huh? Watch this line. Oh, that looks like a good one there, Pop. Yeah. Oh, big boy. Woo, easy now. He's giving you a little run. Not ready. First lake trout ever, <laughs> eh? He's big. It's a nice one. Oh my god. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Quinn. Right oh yeah. Yeah. They like that little ripple on the water. Soon yep. a little bit. Sure did. Yeah, you were taking a nap and you just happened to be in front of the right rod. Okay, that's going to be our lunch.
Beautiful fish. Nicely done, sir. Thank you. Cracking. Cracking. Are we tripled up? Basically. Big one. Uh, big one. Does it feel big? I don't know. I feel like it's clean. Yeah, yeah, catch up to him. Yeah, tell if he's... Yeah, there you go, Get on that right side. There you go. There we go. Yeah, bring him over right. Nicely done. That was cool. Boys. Lakers in the net. Boy, it was just like that. A little breeze. Give us our bait pack. Bam, bam, bam. All right, y'all, there we go. We got three lake trout from shore, and we're gonna eat some. And if you ever wonder what lake trout tastes like, we're gonna test it today and let you know. Let's give them a sniff. <sighs> Not too much on them already. What a crazy design. I don't know if you guys can see this. What a crazy design on the top of their head. It's just an amazing looking pattern. Wild, these fish, they do have some teeth. They're basically uh, swimming down there like catfish, picking up the baits, just running off like a big cat. Look at that, that's a pretty fish. <sighs> no, no, I'm good, I'm good. I'm Is good. this one your wife made? Yeah. I gotta try one. Fresh. Oh. Honey buns from Bill's wife now. Here we go. A little pre trout snack. Here we go. Down into the deeps. Oh yeah, Laker right there. Whoever's there, hit him hard. Hit him with gumption. Get that slack out, whack him. An experienced long liner. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, surf fishing at the coast. Yeah. You know? You get so much line out. Mono, too, bro. Yeah. Saying 11 pounds. Reeling in 100 yards. He's there. The stick's coming into play. The stick is coming into play. It could happen. It's a lakey. Big lake trout. Swing cover to the other side, bud. Got him. Got him. They're all just big juicies. Oh yeah, he ate it. First land-based. Uh... First land-based Laker. Oh no, he's got it right in the corner of his mouth. Perfectly hooked. Excellent. He's going in the well. Yeah. A little different than trolling on the Bama breeze with <laughs> Captain Slocken. <laughs> That's the fillets, huh? Yeah. And you had to, uh, it looks like you had to cut some Y-bones. There's a strip of Y-bones in there, yeah. Okay. Not as big as the northern, but. Cut the Y-bones out. That is orange meat. Yeah. Why is there meat orange? I don't know, just uh, just lake trout, I guess. Just in their nature. Yeah. We're gonna get the cooker going and we're gonna, we're gonna fry them up. Fry them up, golden crispy lake trout. Net for the, uh, you gonna rinse them off in it? Yeah. Okay. I'll give them a rinse. We're gonna go rinse the fillets off in the water. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Let me get a little bit of fish cups and then we'll Folks, Bill is making a proper shore lunch with the potatoes. He's got the beans, the full experience. If you guys do come up here, you know, this is a pretty special place to me. I don't know if I've really described where it's at, but if you look at northern part of Rainy Lake in Canada, uh, you've got Lake Despair. We're at Lake of the Woods right now. Uh, and we stay at a friend's cabin. It, it's, it's just with the family and friends over there, but they have places that you could stay out here. But if you do a little research, you guys can uh, find out more about, about Rainy Lake and in the areas that we're staying in. And uh, if you come up here, um, just look up Old Bill. Ask for Old Bill. He'll take you out fishing. He'll cook you shore lunch, you know people around here they'll find you a place to stay uh it's 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 really cool this is one of my favorite trips to go on because it's just drastically different than where i'm from in texas and it's not fishing really it's catching it's just catching fish up here in the summer these fish have been under ice all winter they're hungry they come out in the summertime and just munch it's time to munch Catching a Laker while we got Lakers cooking. Is that for dessert? Would I be oh. too early to the show? Okay. I don't have to tell anybody. A butter tart with pecans and raisins or just raisins? Just raisins. Just raisins. Okay. If you never had a butter tart, that's what they look like. My goodness. This sounds right up my alley. I got to try it. Bill. <laughs> Not bad, eh? That might be one of the best dessert items I've ever put in my mouth. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. He's a lucky man. His wife makes amazing pastries. If you ever come up here, you gotta have Miss Nail's butter tart. Proper way. Taters. Beans on top. go on top and we've got our fish here I'm gonna need a report you know a lot of people talk trash about the edibility of lake trout I've heard that yeah I've heard like people talk about them being like inedible um, that's phenomenal fresh really fried. yeah that's great love it I've, I've, I've only smoked them because I've always heard that they weren't right. good to eat um, Where else have you had them? Have you had them up here? Or do you have them Great Lakes? I've had them Great Lakes. Had them in, uh, caught them in Lake Tahoe. Okay. One time. It looks good, dude. People joke about, like, turn them into pet food. Just because they're, they're typically a little greasier? Not good, yeah. And I mean, yeah, I've always just greasy and fishy, but no, this is, I mean, flaky, delicious. White meat. Mm. I'm into it. Now, is that one, that one's a little paler. Yeah. Yeah, some of them I noticed were like more orangey than others. Diet? Yeah, maybe diet. Some? I've never had fried lake trout. I've never had fried. Huh? Man. That is an experienced fryer. That's a gold for there. Yeah. And they're, uh, the, the trout is so much thicker. Mm -hmm. How many fish do you think you cook a year? <laughs> a few. A few. <laughs> Bill, you're probably at hundreds, hundreds, thousands a year, maybe probably. thousands of fish consumed. I mean, that's a, that's an OG crispy collector right there. So Bill was saying bacon smoking is really best after you have frozen it, but a fresh fried one. Everybody is in shock right now how good this is because I've heard the I've heard the talk as well. Lake trout. Oh, they're cool. They're big fish, but you don't want to eat them. Turn them into dog food or something. That, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the best jobs I've ever seen on a fried fish. The crisp, the flakiness, that's part of the fish just because it's fresh. The color, this man does amazing work. Let's try this. So 
I want to compare it a little bit to salmon just because it's oily. There is an oiliness to it. So if you don't like fish at all, it may be just a, a hair off putting than eating like a walleye or a crappie or something like that. But the flakiness, the texture, guys, it's phenomenal. It's on. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try a piece without any tartar on it. That's as good as anything. And what makes it even better is it's nice thick cuts. And I love fish that are like that. That's one of the reasons I like striper. They're thicker. You can put a little bit more breading on them, fry them up, or you can bake them. You can just do more things with them. And I just like having that, you know, thickness instead of just like a real thin crappie. I enjoy that sometimes. Lake trout, they're fun to catch. They're even more fun to eat. And I did not think I was gonna be saying that when we started today's video. Amazing. That is going to end our land-based lake trout excursion, guys. We caught probably five or six of these on those Cisco's. I mean, it was basically like catfishing, but it was a really cool fish. And I would do this all over again. To totally different vibe. Every day that I've been up here for, you know, four or five years or so, it's always out of the boat and usually do some of the same similar things on the same lake, which I could do every day. It never gets old up there. Just it's catching. It's not really fishing. I enjoy it so much. But today coming to Lake of the Woods, a different lake. It's got some really deep parts. They got the lake trout in here. Hanging out on an island. Having Bill cook. I mean, it was just amazing. Today was some of the best fried fish I've ever had in my life. And if you're wondering if you catch lake trout from shore, you definitely can. And actually, I think if we had the right uh, maybe like a surf setup, you could definitely get those lines out there far enough to get to where they need to be. What's really cool is people camp out on these islands in the summer for days. You know, they'll bring tents. I don't know how they deal with the mosquitoes at night, but it would be a really cool adventure to come back here, catch those lake trout, have those for dinner, and just eat on them for days, catch a little perch, you know, do some smallmouth fishing on these islands, just, just hang out out here. I'd love it. I absolutely love it up here. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys have ever experienced the Northwoods, you already know. Then, you know, drop a comment down below, let everybody know how awesome it is. But at some point, you just gotta get up here and experience it for yourself. Thank you guys for being here with me though, and I will see you on another outdoor adventure soon. On the next one.